incredible how that vision has come to fruition. Uh, and it came to fruition very quickly, and he has sustained it through time. I watched last night on uh, YouTube. Uh, I was watching a Football Life, uh, Nick Saban. And I, I don't know if it's it maybe new. I'm not sure. Uh, it's normally done on NFL coaches, mm -hmm. and uh, but they did it on him and his relationship with Belichick. And it was, okay, last Friday came out. And uh, it was outstanding because it really went deep into his personal life with him and Miss Terry and his kids. And the kids were on there talking about, uh, you know, growing up in that pressure environment and that dad wasn't at certain things, certain traditions that they had as a family. Uh, also about his relationship with his dad and lost his dad at a very young age. 46. Yeah. And, um, you know, just kind of where he learned his work ethic. And he talked about the process was built right there with his dad every single day, knowing the, the right way to do things, how to do things. And that he takes that with him even to this day. And that's what the process is all about. And uh, it was really cool, though, to watch just kind of uh, 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 watch Coach Saban and Miss Terry because you can just tell that um, they've been they've been together for so long. They're they're not only husband and wife, they're best friends. And she is you got to be a special woman to be a coach's wife. You really Absolutely. do. Absolutely. You, you mean, it's uh, people I tell all the time. A lot of times a coach is made or made or broke. Uh, makes makes it or, or break, breaks it based on his wife, but I, I hate to say that, yeah. but it is. I mean, the relationship has got to be where she's willing to sacrifice, willing to be at home, willing to be with the kids, willing to do all the things behind the scenes that has to be done to keep the family intact, to keep the kids on track, and more importantly, to let him go and uh, be able to work and do the things. I'm not sure if Nick Saban productive. has ever paid a bill in his life. Probably not. But and I don't know that for certain. But, I don't. Uh, I, I I I don't know for certain either. Yeah. But I think that's that's the case. And, and uh, I mean, she just she's run the household yeah. over the years. Yes. But she's also Ruth, she's also yeah. an, an advisor, right? Remember when yeah. uh, Coach Saban had that little uh, uh, altercation? Not altercation, but he raised his voice in a maybe an inappropriate way to Maria Taylor, yeah, uh, the ESPN reporter, and it was Miss Terry that said, "You need to apologize," and he did. You know, he really listens to her. Yeah, and the other thing, too, is that um, she made a statement in this football life. She said, the reason why we, I love going back to pro football was because in pro football, I didn't like I had a role. Uh, you know, there was these grown men, my husband, he's going to work. In, in, in college, you know, they invite the parents over to the house. They have the recruiting nights where they have the recruiting room downstairs. She's always at the recruiting and said events at, at the stadium. They do their next kids stuff, which is so important for the community of Tuscaloosa. I, I think as hard as it is still for that wife to be that in that role, it's a, a lot more, I think, involved at the college level, a lot more interaction between the college wives than there probably are at the NFL don't, level. Don't you think she also is the ultimate closer when it comes to recruiting? Because when the, uh, when, when the player and the parents are on campus, She's the one that assures the, the parent or prince mm -hmm. that she's going to be there to take care of their child. You know, she'll be there. She'll be the maternal figure. And I think she really is the maternal figure over the entire program. There's no doubt about it. And she's so, you know, her personality. I mean, she can. She, oh, yeah. You know, she's sharp. Coach Saban is, uh, I would say, and, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but I think he's an introvert. I really do. Yeah. I think mean, she's the extrovert. She's the one yep. that just lights the room up when she walks in and immediately can take it over and stuff very graceful yeah they, they make a make a great great team hey if you struggle finding you 